Great off-market leads are really the lifeblood of any real estate investor's business. And in this video, I wanna share with you how I'm getting most, pretty much 90% of my leads automated and online. I'm Kirby Atwell, and this is Living Off Rentals, where we believe high quality rental properties are the best investment a person can make. So if you're watching this for the first time, hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when other videos similar to this come out on helpful rental investing related topics. I release videos on a weekly basis. Recently, I transitioned from more old school, one and done type marketing methods to a more streamlined, digital online approach. And it's been working really well for me, so I want to share the exact process I'm using with you today. Before I dive right into it though, I wanted to explain a little bit of background about how I view marketing. So I look at marketing as more of an investment than an expense. A lot of times when you pay an expense like, you know, $1,000 for rent or for an insurance bill, you don't see a direct tie to the ROI. You don't see how that expense is going to bring money back to you. However, with an investment, if you're gonna invest $1,000 into Bitcoin or into a stock or a mutual fund or a property, there's a direct, there's a direct link there. You're thinking about how that $1,000 is going to bring you back $1,200 or $1,500 and the time frame on when it's going to come back to you. And that's exactly how I think you should look at marketing. The method that I'm about to share with you makes it pretty easy to track these metrics. You know, you can see how many dollars you spend on ads and how many motivated sellers it brings in. And there's a whole bunch of analytics you can analyze around that. But the biggest advantage to this is the residual effect that it has. You know, once you put out an ad, someone might see it who has a friend that wants to sell their house. And so it's very simple for them to click on it and share it with their friend. Whereas with a bandit sign, somebody's not gonna share your bandit sign with their friend. And most of the time, a yellow letter direct mail piece is not gonna be shared with a friend. Or if somebody clicks on that link and reads the link, you know, that might increase your organic search rankings in Google for your website. And so there's all these other benefits that come that are, that are sort of a cumulative effect over time when you do digital marketing as opposed to some of these old school marketing techniques. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the process and I'll walk you through it. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly walk you through my process for bringing in leads online. So there's really three components to the process. And the first component is my website. So what I used to have on my website, uh, or for my website, I guess, was this really fancy website for Green Vet Homes. I went out and I, I found somebody that uh, does a really great job of building sites and they build these absolutely stunning sites. I had some videos um, and I was super proud of the site. And what I realized though over the next couple of years is that I had a handful of people visit and I never got one lead because of my website. So I spent a bunch of money for basically this vanity site that did nothing for me. And so eventually I, I figured out that um, there's people who can do it much better than I can. And there's a company that, that builds sites specifically for, uh, for real estate investors. And so it's designed to, to speak specifically to off-market sellers. And so that's what your website really should be designed for if you're trying to bring in leads. And so when you go to my site, you can see the form is right here that sellers can fill out. It's got um, some testimonials. It's got information. This is all pre-built for me. It's, it's just a template. And I just filled in my information, my colors, my brand colors, uh, my logo, testimonials, I put those in. Some people put video testimonials in here too. I probably should. Some people have a blog that they update as well. I just don't, uh, uh, I just haven't gone that far. But um, there's some information about the company in here and, and what we do. Um, but it's, it, it's really, it, again, it speaks directly to sellers. And so the second component is Facebook. And so I hire a friend of mine, a guy that I went, you know, I served in the army with and we went to West Point together and he is also a real estate investor. He's got his own business and he was driving Facebook ads to his, to his business. And so he 
started doing it for others as well. And so I pay him monthly. And so uh, he sets all this up for me. So if we go to my ads manager, these are the ads that he's setting up on a regular basis uh, for me. And so I pay a thousand dollars a month. That is my entire marketing budget right now. That's what it has been for the last five or six months. Um, and it brings in quite a few leads on a, on a monthly basis. I would say I probably get, I don't know, 20 to, to 30 leads from that thousand dollars on a monthly basis. Um, but they're very targeted leads. So, um, so if I get 20 leads, they're, they're all going to be in my target area and they're pretty much all going to be motivated sellers. And so I pay him $300 and he sets all this up for me. I, I don't know how to do it. I, I know the basics of it. I can, I could figure it out, but instead of figuring it out, I pay him 300 bucks a month and, and I spend a thousand dollars on the actual ads themselves. And so my entire spend on marketing outsourcing my marketing is, is 1300 bucks. And that brings me consistent off market leads. And so basically Facebook can put this in front of people who are most likely to be selling an, a house and most likely to be selling it off market or wanting to sell it off market because of some specific situation. And so it's, they're very good at targeting that. And so when people see this ad pop up, they click on the ad and it brings them to my site and then they fill out the form on my site. Uh, and then once they fill in their information there, it takes them to uh, Carrot. And so what Carrot is, is the company that, that, create, that created my site. Uh, and I'm not an affiliate of this company. I don't make any money by, <clears throat> by sharing this. But you can go to Carrot.com and you can check it out. I just think they're a great company. Trevor Mouch, I think, is the guy's name who, who created a few years back. And they just build websites for real estate investors and real estate uh, agents. And so uh, it's very targeted. They're very good at it. Um, and so they'll you can sign up. I think I'm at the $49 a month, the, the core plan, I think it's called. Um, and so for 49 bucks a month, they built out my site. I just customized it a little bit. Um, and then they give you this, this dashboard tool. And so all the leads, when somebody fills out a, a lead form on your site, the lead goes into this tool and you can click on leads and then it shows you all the leads that you've got. Um, and you can look at the analytics and you know, see how your, your ads and, and you don't have to just do Facebook ads. That's what I do. You can drive any sort of off market seller to your site and they can fill out the form and then you've got their information so you can reach out to them and negotiate the deal. So hopefully this was um, a helpful explanation of how I'm bringing in off market leads on a consistent basis. Hope you got value out of this video. If you did, give me the thumbs up and hit subscribe. Also hit the little bell next to it and that will notify you when new videos are released. This is a brand new channel, so I don't have very many subscribers yet. And so your support is definitely appreciated. Also, if you have a topic that's rental property investing related that you're curious about, go ahead and comment below and let me know what it is. You know, I've got about a decade worth of experience doing this and I'd love to know what you're interested in. And I'll just go ahead and create a video about that. And finally, go on over to Facebook and join the Living Off Rentals Facebook community. There's some really engaging conversation that happens there. I hang out there. There's a lot of great rental property investors that hang out there and they're always willing to share. I hope to see you there. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.